Hi guys, Rebecca Black here, and I want to show you how to take your daytime makeup into the night with just a few simple steps without having to rewash your face and start over from scratch. So I am just coming in from a long day um, with a bunch of clients today, and so I am going to salvage this makeup and make it just a little more dramatic without having to to do a whole lot of work. So this is the makeup that I put on this morning. This morning before I left, I used my Loose Mineral Foundation. From my lash line to brow, I put the white color from our palettes. And on my crease, I used the Loose Mineral um, Gold color here. So I absolutely love how long it has still lasted and you can still see my skin still looks nice and covered and even and I just have a little bit of shimmer. So I took the white powder from lash line to brow, again working with my same favorite little brush here and I cleaned it off and then I put just a little bit of this into the lid. I shake it upside down, take the lid off and then just work with the powder that comes out in the lid. These little mineral pots will last you a really, really, really long time. So I just kind of want to build on that for right now without having to spend a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freshen up my powder just a little bit. So I'm going to shake just a tiny bit more of my foundation into the lid there. Put a little bit on my brush, pounce it in the lid. You can either dump it upside down and pour some in there if you want to and pounce that way or you can pick up directly from your larger amount right there and then pounce that in the lid just to kind of evenly distribute it. You don't need your brush as saturated as you do in the morning time so if you notice there's just like a nice even little thin saturation. So what I'm going to be doing today is just kind of like re-evening skin tone. So once again, I always start right there at the bridge of my, of my nose. One thing I want you guys to notice is that, number one, I'm not overly shiny. So this makeup does not dry my skin out and make me oily, which is one of the things that I absolutely love about our Loose Minerals. And it is not uh, very, very glittery underneath. There are some minerals that I've worked with in the past that leave you looking a little shiny, uh, very, very glittery. This is not one of those. So again, I'm doing a really light, even distribution on my brush and I just did it down the bridge of my nose. I'm just going to dust that over my forehead just a little bit. I'm going to dump just a little bit more of my loose minerals into my lid and you're pouncing your brush just like this so you can see and then come there to the chin even it out work around the top of your mouth don't forget your little crevices that are there as well and you see I don't do a ton of reapplying with this because a little bit of these minerals go a long 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 way so I'm going to freshen right underneath my eyes Make those nice and even. So you can see just whenever I started doing that how my cheeks kind of started to pop back forward without even having to use more of my contour. Which I will be doing my contour tutorial, one of my favorite things to do in makeup next Monday. So next Makeup Monday is going to be all about contouring and highlighting also known as icing and baking. So it's like cooking and doing makeup all at the same time. What more can a girl want? So again, just even this out. Thank you, Sylvia. I love giving people makeup tips. It's, uh, it's so nice and easy and it's a time saver too. You know, one of my favorite things to do with makeup is just to build on what you already have. You don't need to re rebuild Rome. Rome was already built. Let's just do a little bit of finessing. 
So now that I've completely evened out all of my skin tone, you'll notice that the only place that I did not put the foundation again is right there where I put my previous uh, contour color earlier this morning because I don't want that any darker than what it is and I will be doing my highlighting and contouring makeup Monday next Monday so I'm super excited about that it is one of my absolute favorite things to do so for those of you that just joined cupcakes can we have cupcakes too oh that would be fun because this girl loves some cupcakes of all shapes and sizes and flavors but red velvet are my favorite and my mama makes the best red velvet cupcake I'm just saying so again the colors that I have on right now for my eyeshadow are ones that are in the mommy and me palette and I have on this white this beautiful white I'm gonna put some on my on the back of my hand just so you can see so there's there's my level of saturation on my brush and so here is how that goes on a lot of times I don't even use that much this morning I would say I probably did more like this just more like a light a light light sheen not quite as heavy as this and that's the medium density and that is the lightest what is the easy way to touch up with the minerals if you have oily skin I have to use oil blotting sheets during the day it honestly depends on the level of oiliness that you have there are certain times where my skin is super 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 oily and you may just have to use the oil blotting sheets but one thing that I do find that works really well for myself is to have um, a small brush inside your purse with some more of your minerals and you just lightly dust it especially right there through your t-zone because Stephanie I would imagine your oily zone is right across the forehead down the cheeks or down the nose and does it go across the cheeks or is it just mostly your forehead and down your nose I would imagine that it's probably just the t-zone but sometimes it does extend there and my favorite way to do it is just to put a tiny bit more of our loose minerals on that. And so I'll show you like a typical, if I'm fixing to blot oil, that is the level of saturation that I would use on my brush. It is not that much yet, yeah, just the T-zone. Yeah, so you're just going to put a light little dusting right there and you're just going to dust and work it all the way, all the way out. And so that really, really absorbs a lot of the oils. It's one of the great properties about uh, working with loose minerals. So again, from my lash line to brow, with my favorite little brush here, I have the white color that is going to be in your Mommy and Me palettes. And on the just my little lash line to the, to the lid, I have on that light gold color. Thank you, Barbara. I love these tips and tricks for an easy, beautiful look. You are welcome, Stephanie. So, I just kind of want to do a little bit of an eyeliner. I kind of want to make my eyes pop. I don't want to do anything as dramatic as going out for like a formal evening or anything like that. I just kind of want to give my eyes a little bit of depth and dimension. So I'm going to be doing eyeliner with a really small thin brush right here. And like I say, I always like working with longer handled brushes. And one thing that I do whenever I do my eyeliner is I have a washcloth here to the side. And this part right here is not like soaking wet, but if I squeeze this hard enough, you will get some moisture out of this but I do like to turn the water on just a little bit and then just dip my brush in that water at the bottom of the sink so you can see that there's it's a little bit of wetness there you don't want it like totally totally saturated so the color that I'm going to use on my eyeliner today is going to be what we have called Celtic Knot it is this beautiful beautiful like ivy green color. So it is simply amazing. So we're gonna shake just a little bit into the lid. 
And then you see we have a couple of little specks in there. So whenever you're doing eyeliner with uh, a brush, a wet brush especially, what you don't want to do is just stick it right into a big huge hunk of the loose minerals because it's going to kind of get stuck on there. It's okay if it gets stuck on there. I'll show you a few tricks how to navigate that. So I am going to find like this spot right in here and just kind of work my way down like build and pick up just a little bit almost like I'm doing like little paint brush strokes on there and I, I'm a big tester so I like to test and see how thick and how heavy is that going to be okay so that's subtle so I know that I want it a little bit more so I'm gonna pick up some more of my shadow and again this color is Celtic knot and I really 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 love it so let's do another there we go so I just needed to pick up a little more powder but you can see these two right there are the same color this is just a super sheer version and this is how I want my eyeliner to look so I'm going to again pick it up on the brush and saturate there just kind of pounce it into the end so there's the saturation on the brush you can see that the minerals are only right on the tip so whenever you are doing this you're going to close one eye and you're going to start not over here you're going to start where do you, where do your lashes stop so I want you to look and see where your lashes stop so my lashes stop right there so I'm going to place the brush on the outermost lash line. I'm not picking it up. I am going to keep medium pressure there and I'm going to slowly drag it to the mid part of my eye until like your skin kinda comes off on its own. So you're just again from the outermost portion of your lash line to the center of your eye. So I'm stopping right there, which is just like right inside my iris, but you will feel the pressure lessening and that's kind of where your eye naturally falls off. So just work with where your eye naturally, naturally goes. Okay, and so to finish this here, I go from outside to middle and then I always work from inside to middle. So I am going to actually pull myself out a mirror here uh, so that that way it's a little easier for, for me to see. Okay, so I'm going to start right here at the innermost corner of my eyeliner and I'm going to be in my lash line. Okay, so I'm not going to be on the wet line there, not on that white skin there. I'm actually working right there in the lash line itself. Okay, so just to place my brush, so I'm just going to slide that just a little bit and it's more of like a tickling sensation right there, okay? So you can see just that little bit of depth right there on the innermost portion of my lashes. And then I am going to just come right on top of that lash line and I'm going to connect my dot from where I stopped there over to the middle and you'll feel yourself fall off. Pick it up and run it again. So you can see that it is just a nice little bit of depth, the difference between the two eyes. So you see how these lashes look not quite as thick and these look a little thicker here. So I wanna make it a tiny bit more dramatic and I'm gonna pick up a little more of my, uh, of my shadow and I'm going to thicken the outer edge here. So we're gonna come up. And if you're noticing, I just turned my brush just a tiny bit here because I wanna create a little bit of a thicker triangle here, but I still wanna end up at that same end point. So in your mind, picture a little bit of a triangle and you're gonna come up on your lid just a little bit, medium pressure. Okay, so you see how we created a little bit of a triangle right there. And you come and you fill everything in. I have not reapplied. My brush is damp. 
and then you just straighten all of your lines. So you can see there how much more depth this eye has than this one. Even in a close-up you can see these lashes look much thicker than these lashes here and it's just because of the eyeliner. So I'm going to move to this eye and finish my daytime to nighttime look. And again, we're working with um, a wet brush and our pigment is concentrated on the tip of the brush. It's okay if it goes down a little bit into there. You just don't want the whole brush dipped in it. So we're going to start on the outermost lash line there and we're going to drag that brush to the halfway mark right when you feel that pressure start to drop, which is right there for me, okay? So again, from the outermost lash line to the center, right there. You feel the pressure drop. And then you are going to move to the innermost portion there. Whenever you're putting this part on right here, you're just really doing like that, that quarter of an inch. So let me just like this. So this is really the only one where I'm like working inside the lash. Again, I'm not on my wet line. And the wet line is that pink skin that you see underneath there. I'm working just in my lash line. And then we go back and we connect that middle line to that line there. So that's the only area that I am working on. If you feel like your brush is starting to get dry during this point, put a little more water on it, but you do not want your brush to be soaking. You don't, again, this is, this is kind of the saturation where we're going for. We're not going for super liquidy where it's really, really pale. You want your brush to feel damp and my brush is starting to feel just a little bit dry. So I'm just going to put a little more, a little more water on it and dab it off on my washcloth that I have sitting there. You can see where I, where I just dabbed it a little bit. So we're going to go back and we're going to thicken the edge of the eyeshadow just to give it a little more dimension. So it's always a little more difficult for me to work on my left eye and you'll probably notice the same thing. Uh, but you do want to tilt your brush at a tiny, you're not holding it flat, you're holding it more. Notice that I'm rolling it in my fingers just to roll it a little more. And so you're connecting the edge of this triangle to the center point of your eye. So bring it to the center point of your eye and fill in. And go back and strengthen until you get your your thickness is about even on each eye. So then you go back and then you you fill in any spots that you see, hey, maybe don't look quite as dark on one side as they do the other. So again, I always like to work from the outside to the inside whenever it comes to eyeliner because again, our eye skin is super delicate and you don't wanna put any more pressure then you absolutely have to on that. So that is how I would finish off my day to night time. There's a good picture of it so you can see how it goes from a fatter triangle to a really, really thin triangle that ends up on the inside of my eye. Right inside that, that lash line. Yes, I know this palette is amazing. I can't wait to get these in your hands, ladies. So, you can stop right here with the liner if you want to. Some people like to do a little bit of a shadow right underneath the lash line, which is what I'm fixing to do with you guys. What you want to pay attention to whenever you do this one is you don't want it quite as dark as you do your top. So these are the colors that we used on top. So again, I'm working with the same green and you want something that's just a little bit lighter than all those. So you want to do um, almost like a little bit of a, of a medium pressure with that. So whenever you are working on your lower liner, you're creating more of a shadow. So you're going to be working underneath your lashes here. 
So this brush is resting like in my lash line. And I'm using very, very light pressure because on your on your lower lash line you don't have a lot of real estate to to work with. So you want to keep it very, very gentle. You don't want to poke yourself in the eye. That's never a good day. But if you notice, I have not reapplied because for me personally, I don't like to have a whole lot of lower liner. So you see just that nice, beautiful little shadow that it created on this eye. It gives this eye a little more dimension than this eye. So I am going to even my left eye out with my right eye and create just a tiny, tiny bit. I myself am not a big fan of really, really dark lower liner for me only because my eyebrows are so naturally arched um, that it can get very overwhelming very, very fast for me. So again, on this eye, we're working right inside the lash line. We come underneath, and this brush is actually underneath my lashes. So you get as close to that lash line as you can. And I'm not picking up, and I don't have a ton of minerals on this brush either, because if you have a ton of minerals on the brush, what will happen is they will end up all over your face, which is not something you want. So you see, I just swept this very, very gently around my lower lash line. That's all I did on both sides. So I had a little more minerals on my left eye than I did my, my right eye. But So that would be my daytime to nighttime look. Which color would you use on your brows? I actually would use um, some of the mineral foundation on the brows. And the reason that I would use the mineral foundation is because there's no, um, there's no shimmer. There's no shimmer to it. And when you're coloring behind your brows, you genuinely just want to create a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of depth and dimension. I do not have anything underneath my eyebrows right now. This is just my natural color and natural thickness, density, and shape of my brows. So just to recap... I had my daytime look, which was the white color, and the Mommy and Me palette on from lash line to brow on my eyelid. I had the gold color, the light gold color, and what I just did was what we call Celtic Knot, this beautiful ivy green color, and all I did was add just a little bit of eyeliner on there to create my depth for my eyes. So that way I look like I spent a ton of time on my makeup when in actuality, if I was not doing this in an instructional manner, that whole maneuver there would take me less than five minutes. So again, we were working with a little small detail brush and we worked with it wet so that we get really exact placement and saturation and color concentration with the little tiny brush and the moisture from that. So again, next Monday on our Makeup Monday, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite things, which is highlighting and contouring, uh, also called baking and icing. And I'm super excited to share some of my tips and tricks with you guys on that. If there is anything that anyone has any questions about, please do not hesitate to ask me. Sylvia, I'm in love with all of these colors as well. And send me some emojis. I love hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. And the wow face. I like the wow face too. Because I like to wow you ladies. I want to show you things you've never learned before. Um, if there's anything, will that little be brush, will that little brush be available to us too? Yes, we will have uh detail brushes inside of the kit. Yes, keep the emojis coming. Wow. Okay, <laughs> love it. Um, so where are all of you guys joining from? Sylvia, where are you from? Laura, Lisa, Corolla, Stephanie, Barbara, K. 
Kim, where are you guys coming? Where are you guys joining me from? I would love to know. Mascara, do we have one of those coming? Mascara is one of those products that is in the very early development stages. We probably will not have mascara for another year um, just because an effective mascara uh, that meets our standards is not out there yet. So it's uh, Ohio, Wisconsin, Middle Georgia. Look at all these people. I love it. Connecticut. Hi, Rebecca. I'm Rebecca, too. And you even spell your name the same way that I do. So, um, yeah, mascara is one of those hard things. We are working really, really, really hard, and I feel like we really can create a great product for you guys. Um, but I don't want to make a promise that I can't keep. Um, but we will definitely be keeping you guys in the loop with the development of the mascara. Um, so, I wish we had a better option right now, but we don't. Um, but we can make one, so that's the best part. So anyway, is there anything that anyone else would like to know? Thank you for all of the hearts, Miss Laura Phillips. I love these hearts. We are so thankful you guys do how you are doing. Your girls are rocking it. Thank you, Lisa. We're trying so hard. We want this to be successful for you guys. We want to make your dreams come true and to give you guys great quality products and a safe place for you to send your people uh, so that they can learn how to effectively use the products without you having to do a ton of work. We all know that time is extremely valuable and we want to give you guys all of the tools that you're going to need to have a super successful business with as little amount of effort as possible. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I hope you had as much fun on Makeup Monday as I did. And I'm super excited about next week as well. So my makeup tutorial for next week will be in the morning time. It will be at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's when we will be doing the baking and icing, also known as highlighting and contouring. And I cannot wait to show you guys some of my tips and tricks. Um, it will make the biggest difference in your overall makeup appearance. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday. Bye, guys.